I am Game Guy. It's time for more Let's Play Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. We got ourselves a gust jar. We got ourselves a piece of heart. It was just through this door. It's, it's, it's all that was stopping us. So, uh, yes. Gust jar is useful for allowing me to suck up all of the dust in the world. As it turns out, this is far more useful than it sounds. Um, yes, well, you know. So, Gustar also will allow us to do something about these dudes. I guess I could have thrown pots at them also. I suppose that's a thing that happens. Once you get all their color gone, you can slash at them with the sword. Um, this seems to be a puzzle of sorts where I've got to push a bunch of buttons. I gotta push a bunch of buttons, and by a bunch of buttons, I mean exactly two. Maybe? Or may may maybe these aren't actually pressure switches. Ah, yes, mysterious shells. I'm not sure what they're for, so I'ma hold on to them, because why not? It seems like the thing to do. Those will be useful for later things. For right now, they're just kind of there. I'm just gonna obsessively check underneath every bit of dust in the world because this is just what needs to be done. That is a shortcut portal. Uh, that'll show up at the beginning of the dungeon instead of here. So uh, that's not particularly useful at the moment. However, it will be shortly, I guess. I mean, that's obviously how you get that piece of heart that's up there in case you couldn't have figured that out. In case... You couldn't have figured that out, but yeah. Uh, I'll deal with that when I get to the beginning of the dungeon, I suppose. Uh, let's see. Where are all of the places I can go? I can do something here, also. Yeah, there's a lot of things you can do with the gust jar. Uh, at least in the outset of things. Yes. That allows me to get more shelves. Shelves with which to solve the ways of the world. And other assorted things. What other treasure might be around? There's stuff in the basement, and there's a chest right there. I need to get to the basement is clearly what it is I need to do here. If I remember right, that means I need to go to the barrel room. Barrel room? How are you today, barrel room? Can I push this? I can push that. I don't know of what purpose it serves, but it's something I can do. Ah, see, opening that allows me to create a hole in the center for which to fall down. And now I'm here. Uh, hey there, bug friend. Bug friend, you can't, you're not flying close enough, so I can't do much with you. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this lily pad up. Also, you might have noticed that Ezlo's interrupting me. Yes, find a way to travel by water or it won't be gone much further. Yeah, yeah, I know. You can do this thing, by the way. Uh, so, yeah, you might notice that Mr. Watch needs to shut up. I'm just getting interrupted by literally everything here. Whoops, I've fallen. Yeah, the, the gust jar will actually um, change color depending on the force of suction and uh, how much air it'll blow out once uh, said suction is complete. Ow. Got... Dang it, guy, stop it. All right, stop it. You can just kind of keep uh, just mashing the button to move forward with efficiency. Those guys, not fishes. They do not have the proper efficiency. That That's a joke. Feel free to post in the comments section saying, LOL, that was funny. Exactly that. I need to see like 50 comments of that same... That same type. Otherwise, what even is the point of making jokes if no one is if no one's going to exactly respond in that way? Uh, please, 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 Lilypad. I need you to cooperate with me right now. I need you to go up here so that I may also go up here. Uh, that is a pressure switch. Um, okay. I will go ahead then and push this one jar here. I will destroy the rest, however, because nobody likes pots. Nobody. Nobody, I say. Nobody likes pots. Not even me. That's <laughs> an obvious statement, I guess. I don't even know. I don't even know. I gotta go up this way. 
Where will this lead me? Ah, it seems we are in familiar territory once more. Ah, see, remember this treasure chest that we couldn't get before? Turns out we needed a lily pad to solve this conundrum. I got myself a key. I remember seeing the locked door, but I do not quite remember exactly where it was. So... Ah, well, we're here again, so I'm assuming it is somewhere nearby. Somewhere nearby, there is a locked passage for me to take. Uh, was it this way? No, it was not that way. I believe I don't actually remember where this locked door is. I remember seeing it, but I don't remember where it was. Th this is this is problems as I'm just kind of wandering around here. Was it back at the beginning? No, because I felt... Well, when I say beginning, I meant, like, down the barrel hole. But, uh, obviously, that is not wit Irene... Uh, wit... I... I... I'm sorry, alright? I can words. It's very difficult for me to do. Maybe it was back underground, and I'm just completely forgetting. This is the part of the episode where I don't know where I'm going, and everybody's gonna be like, Game guy, you need to go this way. Even though, obviously, I've already figured it out, because by the time I've uploaded this, uh, you will have seen all that it is that I have done. That's not the button that I- that's not the button that I wish to press. The button I wish to press was a completely different button. Actually, now that I think about it, yeah, I kind of vaguely remember there was a- there was a path up and to the north that I did not fully able to traverse good. Yes. This way, with the inefficient slugs. Ah, I always knew that the inefficient slugs would one day rule the world. Sadly, uh, that, that day is not today. I don't know how far I need to pull this mushroom, but I, I pulled it that far. I still want to instinctively slash the pots, but it doesn't work. So you can use the gust jar to pull the mushroom caps also, but as soon as it touches the gust jar, it's going to automatically fling you, so there's like no delay. Like, you don't really have as much control over it, so do be careful, friend. Or else you might meet with a terrible fate uh, with water. Water is, is very terrible. Um, oops. I have drowned myself. No, that's the worst. There we go. I got the big key. I can open big doors. But only big doors, not small doors. Hey, look, a shortcut. There's two shortcut warps in this dungeon. Actually, there, I think there's two shortcut warps in every dungeon. In this game, at any rate. Now we can finally get this heart piece that I so promised you that I would get. That's a new heart container. All right! Haven't even beaten the first dungeon yet. I already got ourselves an extra heart. Not a lot of Zelda games can say that. Then again, not a lot of Zelda games have heart pieces in the dungeon, so... <laughs> it is a little bit strange... I don't believe I can get this. Yes, I can. I can only get it from this side, I'm betting. I'm betting that that is what the puzzle is. I might have been able to uh, leave from, from that side also, but I, I did not. I was kind of hoping I could suck up the spider web from there, but I guess this game just does not want me to do things the easy way. It's just a really unfortunate time we all live in. Oh, I flung myself just a little bit too far. Whoa, whoa, mushroom, come on. I'm gonna need to fling me just a little bit more than that, all right? Just tiny bit, tiny bit more, tiny bit more. Hey, look, a boss door. I'm gonna leave that heart behind. Meanwhile, outside, something that only happens as soon as I enter the boss room, <laughs> because of course it does, Oh no, I've been locked in! Oh no, it's raining! I knew I should have brought my umbrella! Darn it! Is there a Zelda game that has an umbrella item? There should be. Hello, you're a giant choo-choo! <laughs> so this is the boss, he's, he's a giant choo-choo. Uh, the trick to this guy is you need to suck up all his... goo. I guess. <laughs> For lack of better terminology to use. Oh no, you're really top-heavy, guy. 
Don't fall over specifically on me, please. I can now slash you a whole lot. It's a good thing for me, not so much for you. Oh no, he can jump. And one problem with the Gus Jar is you have to, like, let it shoot out. Otherwise, you know, uh, well, like, you, you just have to. You can't just not. But it stops you in place. It's kind of annoying. Ow! Rude! What I'm trying to say is there is a delay. And it's kind of a, of a nuisance when he jumps. Yeah, because see, there wasn't a whole lot I could do to avoid that. I mean, I, I probably could have if I were better. Sadly, that is not a thing that I am sometimes. Oh no, you're going to fall! Why? Stop attempting to fall on me. That's very rude, guy. Have I ever told you just how rude you are, Mr. Choo Choo? Well, I'm not going to have much of a chance to do that now because you're dead. Darn. <laughs> I kind of like the idea of a boss being like a regular sized enemy while I'm tiny, but uh, that just seemed a little weird and completely incidental. <laughs> but okay. Sure! Who was guarding this thing? Was it that choo-choo? He wasn't even in the dungeon. But I got the earth element. The power of the earth is the source of all living things. Earth element is the embodiment of that power. It sure is. Hey, look, a heart container. I could use one of those that I have also already gotten. I went to go, like, get some more hearts from the pots, even though the heart container refilled my health anyway, so... <laughs> It was kind of silly of me to do. Yes! You must go tell the Elder at once! Alright, I'll do it. I can do it very goodly, I promise. I promise it to you that I can do it. Hey guy, you're not the Elder, so I do not care about you in the slightest. Not a single bit. Alright. Back to the Elder we go. Mr. Elder Guy. You got some needle and thread going on there. It's a very small needle, all things considered. <laughs> ah, you are blessed with much courage and strength for one so young. Uh, if your conviction holds strong, head to Mount Crennel. There you will find a man named Malari. Among all the minish, there is no one more able to repair your sword. If you ask him, I am certain he will reforge your broken Picori blade. I shall send word to him in advance. Uh, travel safely. You are brave, but there are many evils now in the world. Yes, I have noticed the many evils. Ah, oh, there was a door behind your curtains. Why would you install curtains over your door, sir? I t <laughs> That's a design decision I don't quite understand. Great Elder, we are in your debt. I sh We... We, I, shall head to Mount Crennel at once. At... Once. Sure. Let's go with that. There's just an extra room here that he has hidden behind a curtain for some reason. Ah, oh, finally I can become normal sized. Eventually. <laughs> and a mystical hat! Would you like to- would you by chance be G-Guy, the one who found the Earth Element? I mean, I don't know. That only happened like a minute or two ago. <laughs> How have there been so many tales already? What the heck, man? Yeah, you know, I won't be able to get back to town due to all the debris. Here, I have something that might come in handy. Oh man, I got the bomb bag out of nowhere. It's pretty great. <laughs> and it has ten bombs in it. Now you can blow lots of stuff up. That's great. Thanks, guy. Now I can, as the text said, blow stuff up. Uh, so finally, I can become normal-sized again. Ah, uh, it's good to be... Uh, me. I, I guess. Oh, hey, there's just a, a tombstone-looking thing out here in the middle of nowhere. That's that's cool. Let me just cut the yard. Hold of sacred powers! We grant you the power of wind! With explosions! It blew up! <laughs> Look at that stone marker used to be. I read that flawlessly. Some strange symbol on the ground. Yes, of course. Why, this must be... Well, I haven't the foggiest, to be honest. Hmm. Interesting! <laughs> so, well, now that we've defiled the sacred forest gravestone thing, 
Uh, ah, rocks with which to blow up using bombs. Okay, so I set bombs down in this game. Just straight up. They don't appear in my hands out of nowhere or anything. Bomb pickups? Yeah! I could use those to to do things, like bomb stuff. I, I don't know. There's a bunch of holes over here, but I'm not small anymore, so... Unfortunate. Welcome to the Eastern Hills. There's a dude hiding in the grass. Yes, we have now emerged from the forest and are back into Hyrule Fieldland place. Uh, meanwhile, over here, there is another Shrinky Stomp. Shrinky Stomp? What's a Shrinky Stomp? You can skip the animation now, by the way. In case you were one to care. Hello, friend. Ah, Kinstone Piece. Have you ever seen one like this? What? You don't know what a Kinstone Piece is? Well, tell you what. Why don't you come back and see me when you get one, okay? Oh man, will I ever. <laughs> yeah, I'll get into that one next time, probably. Uh, you can actually pick them up after you drop them, by the way. The bombs, I mean. So, um... That is something important. Hey, look, a bombable wall. That might yield some form of treasure or something. Ah, speaking of treasure, there it is! Oh man, a bat. I just kind of murdered it for no real reason. I am the greatest. Fear me and such. Why are there so many dudes hidden in the grass? It's rude. I don't think I missed anything going that way, so, uh... Let us continue onward. P-Hat, what are you doing here? Stop it. Um, there's nothing over here in the grass... There is, however, more rocks here. Uh, where am I at exactly? I know I've, like, been here before. Oh, this is the other side of the place before I went to the woods. Yes, I of course knew that. Hello, friends that I am murdering. Nice day today, wouldn't you say? I think so, personally. I, I personally think so. Anyway, uh, we are back outside of town. I guess next time we're gonna go into town. Again. Only this time things might happen, maybe. Yes. That, 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 that's important. Guess I'll, uh, I'll see you later and goodbye.